Hello everyone and welcome to a special Mighty Ginkgo episode. My name is Zero and I'll be your instructor for this hopefully short tutorial. So one of the, I thought I was done with the Maitreya lore, but it seems that Laura still has business with the Mighty Ginkgo. <laughs> okay, so a while ago we released the Burning Maitreya dev kit and I thought that that solved the problem with the bento hands. Of course, when I tested it out, I put my ring on my middle fingers and stuff, and when I put it on there, it worked for me. So I assumed that it worked for everybody, but I didn't really look at the animations on that hand. So when I put it, it was always off, and then there was somebody yelling at me inside of the, 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 the Discord group saying that it was wrong, and I'm like, what are you talking about? And I looked at it, and I'm like, oh. Yeah, well, who cares? It's bento things. So we have a fan that came through for us who... Uh, smacked me with a wad of L's and was like, please research it. And you know how I respond to being smacked with wads of L's. I looked into it. <laughs> so together we came up with this beautiful dev kit that you see here. They even um, spotted us a ring to use for the tutorial and even helped us with a fancy name. So the, it is international this tutorial we have help from our French connection <laughs> uh, there so this is the fancy crazy 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 design okay hang on it's th this dev kit is so fancy we need to have subtitles on how to pronounce it phonics crea design so it's like creator designer crea design <laughs> this is the fancy Crea Design hands, and I will show you how to use it the, to create rings and stuff for your, uh, well, at least not real create, but how to rig rings to your Maitreya dev kit. I mean, Maitreya hands. Damn, words everywhere. Anyway, so um, let's just dive right into it because I'm pretty sure you guys already know how to import stuff and put it into position because it's the other Maitreya stuff. So let's say you import it in your um, rings and you positioned it on the hand. So this is your left hand, this is your right hand, although I think this is your right hand and this is your left hand. I never understand those things. Hang on, let me see. Uh, let's switch it to pose move real quick. All right, so this is your right hand. And this is your left hand. So the ring is here on the person's right hand. And it was already positioned on their pinky. So it's all the way in position for us. Now, the thing I need to say about this dev kit is that it is not a Maitreya rig like the other dev kit that we created for the Maitreya lore. It's actually a plain Jane blender rig. Rend rig. So you will have to use um, Avastar, not Avastar, uh, Blender 7.9 to export it out properly. If you use Blender 7.2, uh, to export it, then it'll come out messy. So, what I do is my two step program process. You know, when I use uh, 7 2 for rigging for the weight transfer, and then I put it in 7 9 for my export. So, that's what I'm going to be doing in this tutorial um, rigging in 7 2, then open it in 7 9 real quick and exporting. So, let's pretend that you already imported in your, um, your ring and you have it positioned on your fingers where you want. You're going to click on your bones and we're going to manually um, attach this ring to the skeleton like the hand. So it may seem weird like there is no bones in this but there actually are. They're just really tiny. So there should be a little tiny dot here or you can click on the dot down at the bottom and that should highlight the bones so you know that they're here. Or um, you know we could select this layer then select this dot and do it that way but sorry I don't know how to make bones bigger okay so what we're gonna do first is like we did all manual painting we're gonna select the mesh first so you select the first ring hold down shift select your second ring then you select your bones down at the bottom and then when everything is highlighted like so you're gonna press well I'm gonna turn it on there you go so let's try this again now that we have the screen caps on. Sorry, tutorials all over the place. So we're going to select the ring, hold down shift, select the other ring. Then we're going to select the bones, and then you see the skeleton come up. Then we're going to press Control P, and you want to select em empty groups. Great. Then once we do that, we're going to select our hand hold down shift select one of the rings go switch from object mode to weight paint mode 
go to tools and transfer weights and then we're going to do the same thing with the other ring select that ring go down shift select the bones oh no select the ring no don't even select the ring select the hand first hold down shift then select the ring <laughs> then we push weight paint and then we transfer weights and that's pretty much it so next thing we need to do is test it to see if it's um, if it weighted properly so we're going to select one of the bones and we're going to go to object mode first then select the bones and go to pose mode if it's not there already then we're going to press R and move our finger around and see if it moved it seems like it's doing a good job okay okay so now that everything is set I'm just going to press A a few times and then press Alt R and reset my hand and I'm going to save our um, our project to my desktop and I'm going to open it up in Blender uh, 2.79 You could do all of this in 2.79 if you're confident in your weight painting and your weight transfer. I just like 2.72's uh, instant weight transfer. I'm not a big fan of data transfer. But if you're good at that, you can do it this way and just skip using 2.72 altogether. So I'm going to open it up and navigate to my desktop and look around in this cluttered mess. Here we go, this one. And you see we have our rings. So I'm going to select our rings, both of them. And then I'm going to export it by going to File export Collada default day and then at the operator presets I'm just going to select uh, second life open sim rigged and then I'm going to go to my desktop and then I'm going to export this and I'm going to my hopefully this is there we go so I'm going to close this and I'm going to go to file upload oh build upload the rings turn these low and low to zero skin weights oh I totally forgot wait I forgot a step I'm so sorry before I export those import those rings in I want to run the remove unused vertex group script on them first there we go that makes sure we don't have any funky weights from anywhere being stupid it's only the ones that we need now I'm gonna export it. I knew I was missing a step I'm so sorry guys okay so we're gonna re-export that again make sure we have the second life rigged hit export now I'm gonna bring this in again try it this way upload mesh okay make low and low is zero Okay. So stand. Yo, Fox Lab stand. All right. So this is the test I did earlier with that one. So don't look at it. Take it off. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to take this one off. I'm going to put this on. This is our new one. Can you see it goes right on my finger. I'm going to open up the Maitreya. This is Maitreya, right? Let me see. Come on, you. Bend. Bend. This is the Maitreya one, right? Yeah. All right, my right hand. There we go. You see, it's bending. Stand on there, right? Okay. So that's how you rig a ring or set of rings to your fist, um, to your Matreya hands, using this new fancy dev kit. So like always, all our materials are down below in the description. 
and if you got the same materials as I have you should pretty much get the same results sorry I couldn't attach this to the body um, and you could pretty much just ignore the bento hands inside of the dev kit because that ain't working um, these are a different set of hands so they should work you can even export the hands if you want and use those as gloves for you know um, your garments or whatever and you should pretty much get the same results if you just export it the way I showed you so yeah that's it for this tutorial hopefully I'm finally done with the Maitreya body um, but if not you know just smack me with another wad of L's and maybe we can make something happen <laughs> alright guys I got other tutorials to work on so I'll see you later have fun and like always good luck with your projects